Nice. This is the start of a new era. The start of something new. Oh gosh, it feels so right to be here with you. Oh. All right, thank you. And now. Good morning, fam. It's a great day. Welcome to episode one, the pilot. Of the pilot this show. Of the show. Whatever this is called. Uh, my name is John. My name is Aaron, aka Sweet Bear. Sweet Bear. And Buckets is down there somewhere. Anyway, welcome. Um, for those of you who haven't been watching, this is a new thing that we are trying on this channel. Every Friday, we're gonna do a show like this where we play some games, we talk about some stuff, we take questions. You never know what's gonna happen here. It's gonna be wild. Anyway, uh, happy Star Wars Day, Sweet Bear. May the fourth be with you. How many, uh, Sweet Bear, how many of the Star Wars movies have you seen? Zero. She hasn't seen a single one. We should have had me do a Star Wars recap today. Oh, yeah. Can you just tell us real quick, just sort of the uh, so, main plot? Um, there's pretty much this guy named Luke, and he hmm. um, is adopted, and he... Falls in love with this girl named Leia. She's got two buns, and she's a princess of the planet. Then the Darth Vader comes. And he... who is uh, Oban Kenobi? Obi-Wan Kenobi. A friend of Luke. Little robot R2-D2. Well, what's the other one's name? There's two robots. The bronze one. Oh, okay. The bronze one. I want to say his name's Watson or something. And then Darth Vader comes, and he wants to take over their planet, and he has... An army of stormtroopers. Then, you know, Princess Leia and Luke fall in love, and basically they defeat Darth Vader. There's another guy named Hannikin or something. Okay. And he is also a main character. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty good. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> also, uh, happy National Day of Prayer to those of you who... Yes, it is. Oh. It's always overshadowed. By Star, Star Wars, Wars Day, Day, but it is also the National Day. Looks like I'm Day drinking a bottle of wine, of but it's not. No, drinking her sparkling water. Anyway, um, so Sweet Bear, a, a question just to start off. Since since we are coming out of the vlog ending, how are you personally feeling about the vlog ending? I'm sad. Mm. I was really sad. Like I think John was really the one that was you know burnt out, but John does all the work for the vlog. Like I just show up and just be myself and. It's pretty much what I do, but um, it was a lot of work for John, so I'm sad because I'm not like I wasn't feeling burnt out. But also, it's kind of nice because like if I'm not like don't have makeup on or if I'm gross all day, like I don't have to worry about being filmed. But it's sad. I like I don't know. I'm hoping that it's just a break. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'm sad. All right, so then part of this show is gonna be, uh, we're always gonna wanna sort of recap the week that was in our lives. So Sweet Bear, what, what did we do this week? Um, it was kind of a slow week. Not on much, because I've been traveling a lot. Yeah, so. And so just to be home for like this week has been so nice that really I haven't really left the house much. Mm -hmm. So. I've just, I mean, I've been working a lot of emails back That's and forth. True. I'm about to jump into like crazy wedding season. So mm. it's a lot of like packages are starting. So it's a lot of emails and communicating over email with people. So it's kind of boring, but. Yeah. Um, the only time we really left the house was to go to the dog park. On a little trip to the doggy park. Right, Tubba? Well, he doesn't know yet. trying to at least I've been trying to take buckets on one longer walk a day mm -hmm. because we don't do that and we're kind of really bad puppy parents but we live in the city so we can't just like let him out we have to take him on a walk and it so anytime he has to go out we have to take him mm -hmm. so it kind of gets like frustrating but we've been trying to do like one longer walk a day to get him some exercise and he wasn't usually for the past couple times we've gone to the dog park he's been a pretty good dog but yesterday 
not so much. He was just getting really aggressive. It wasn't with this really little dog. his fault. But it's okay because we had a conversation about it on the way home. Did you have a good time at the park buckets? early and I don't know why. Well, it's because you were being mean to that little dog. What the hell? Just playing. Yeah, but you were playing a little rough, don't you think? Okay, maybe we'll back. What? Maybe we will, but I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. Can we go back? No, we can't go back. We're already halfway home. Okay, okay. But, uh, can I, uh, have a tweet when I get home? Um, maybe. You weren't that good of a dog, so. Okay, okay, okay. If you're a good dog on this walk home, maybe. Okay, I'll take a crate now, too. Okay. Oh, and that sound, I'm gonna put a sound underneath it. <gasps> that sound means it's time for a game. Today, Sweet Bear, we're gonna play a new game that I'm calling Meme. -me. I don't even wanna answer that right now because I know how many memes are gonna be out there of me with a bald head. So this game is called Meme, -me, and it is where we take several different memes and we are going to rate those memes and dissect them. Are they good? Are they bad? What are they trying to say? Do we both understand the meme? Do we get it? And in uh, memory of Bryce Harper, who is still alive, we are calling it <laughs> May May. And it's May, so it's perfect to be playing this game. Are you ready to play? Yeah, May -may? I'm a tough critic with May May. You ready so. to play May May? Here we go. So our first meme right here. Okay. It clearly not hilarious. It gets better. Okay. No, it's it get better. Not. No, it does doesn't not. See, Thoughts? I don't think the tattoo. When I see like pictures of like people with tattoos, like I feel like a lot of times you'll see them if like somebody doesn't win the World Series, but they got the tattoo of the, that. Always just like makes me really sad. <laughs> and also like, well, are you so? How dumb do you have to be? Yeah. To well, do this one doesn't seem like it was this person's fault well, maybe it seems like the tattoo artist like really screwed up like i hope they got that for free you know how would you rate it though as a meme one to ten ten being best meme i've ever seen one being eh. two a two yeah i would i would give it i don't know i would give it a three because the 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 writing above is clever you know okay because nice. like clearly it doesn't get better because that tattoo is permanent yeah. you know what i mean Okay, next. So maybe a little bit. Okay, next. <laughs> Aww. 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 This one is a little unfair because literally any dog meme. We love dogs. I'm done. And we love our dog. I'm over That's it. That's cute. But it's funny. That is funny. It's very and and the fact that you kind of have to look for a while. Yeah, I was until like, you what? see what it is. Oh, <laughs> I like that one. I'll give it a seven. You give it a seven? Yeah. I, I'd give it a six. Okay. I'd give it a six. It's it's pretty good. Um, I don't need the over loudspeakers thing. That doesn't help. All right, next. <laughs> I love this one. I love this one. A bit offensive, but very That's funny. funny. Very funny. <laughs> That's funny. Now, my question is, do you think they planned to take the picture right. and say this is going to be a great meme? Right. Or? Because that, that to me, makes a big difference as to whether it's a great meme or whether it's not. Because if it was planned, that's not really a great no, meme to me. No, that's hilarious. No, but to me, it's the fact that like <laughs> these guys were taking pictures of this money <laughs> and the one guy's like, I don't got any cash on me debit card like uh, that and he's got a chip in it too so it's <laughs> relatively new but you got direct but got direct deposit okay i give that one a five i give this one a seven for oh, sure wow. um mostly because i love the the four squares keep yeah when they in. get zooming in uh, yeah. i think that's a really good technique good. very funny very cool all right this is the last one <laughs> That is so true, though. Oh, man. I love this because it's... It, Female it, dogs is like, that's a joke. Well, yeah. Like, yeah, that that's a level I didn't even think of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, but, but there's just a ton of levels to this that are so good. <laughs> and it, it is commenting on something that is just so, like, rampant. Yeah. Throughout. The Instagram world, especially. Oh my gosh, the amount of butts I see on Instagram. Oh yeah, so crazy. Actually, I follow a lot of like fitness people, mm -hmm. and because it's like motivating, like you get recipes, like 
you know, workout ideas. And so I see a lot of butts and I'm yeah, like, and I don't like, want to see. They're like, work hard every day and achieve your goals. Here's my thong. <laughs> what would you give this meme? Four. A four? <laughs> a four? Oh wow! I gave it's it at really least hard. a six. It's really hard to impress me with memes, and I think <laughs> you like certain memes that I don't think are funny, but yeah. certain ones I will die laughing at. And me and my brother DJ will just die yeah, laughing, and we'll show too. John, and he'll be like, "It's yeah, not funny." Yeah, really, yeah. Like we have sort of a different. Perhaps. So maybe next time we play, it. you have to pick a few, I'll pick a few. But I purposely didn't pick ones that I thought were hilarious. Oh. I just picked, you know, ones that I found. I, I gave this one a six. Okay. Um, I think it's a very clever way to talk about something that is very prevalent in society <laughs> right now. Some, it's this, holding a mirror up to the world. <laughs> I appreciate that. This it's makes art. me miss um, Vine because when oh. Vine first started, me and DJ and John would go on Vine for like hours and we'd pick our favorite ones and we'd like them. Vine. And then we would like be like, oh my gosh, I have so many vines to show you. And we just like, like Jesus cry. the vine because he is alive okay, okay, and well okay. and living in us. But anyway, so that's May May, everyone. Thanks for playing, Sweet Bear. Excellent work. Who won? No one wins. That's lame. Uh, well, what May May won? I think the direct deposit won. Mm hmm. That one. Oh no, that sound means it's time for Question Time with Sweet, Sweet Bear. Hi everybody, welcome to Question Time with Sweet Bear. I'm Sweet Bear. We're gonna answer a question. Yes, we are. And because this is part, a smaller segment of a much longer show, we're only gonna do one question today. I know, okay. hard. That's very hard. tough for me. I don't like Well, that. two questions. Okay. Well, I'm going to tackle one. Oh. Because one question was like clearly for me. Oh. Well, you can, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Here we go. So this first question comes from at hjane underscore the just. She asks, what is a fashion trend you're loving right now? Loving. Um, I am loving the off the shoulder oh, trend you are. happening. Um, I don't own many things that are off the shoulder. But you have but great collarbones. Thank you. You really do. Thank you. You should wear more off the shoulder. I know. So does that mean I can go shopping? No. <laughs> That's Certainly the thing. I haven't not. really done like my summer shopping yet, but um, I love the off the shoulder trend. I'm also loving that like sneakers are cool with like every outfit. Yes, now. <laughs> me too. Actually, it's like in because I wear sneakers. All so, yeah, I love that. I, like, love fashion. If I had more money, I would love to be, like, a fashion blogger or something. But, actually, I don't have really that good of taste, but I think I do. <laughs> so, definitely the off-the-shoulder and whatever's an happening at Anthropology. Whatever's happening at Anthro. <laughs> that that makes sense. Uh, so, this next question is for for both of us, but... Yeah, yeah, it's in, for you. In reading the question, I was like, this is not a question that Sweet is going to want to answer. Okay. So, at Matt... De Silva, 42, asks, how do you stay accountable accountable, and in line with God's word when running a social media ministry? Do you have a godly mentor review your account? Hmm, it's definitely for you. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on that first? Well, no, I don't have a godly mentor review my Instagram account. No, no you don't? Okay. Um, for me... <laughs> but I it is holy. <laughs> it is... Divine. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> That's a great question. I do not have like one person that every time before I post a video or before I post a tweet or an Instagram or whatever, I don't have a single person that I like send the content to to run it through as a filter. For me, it's a much more organic thing. Um, obviously, I have Sweet Bear here who who does keep me accountable. Um, not not just in like a making sure that everything is uh, done in in a godly way, but also making sure that it's pushing to be as excellent as possible. Um, if I post a bad video or something, I, I'll go to her. I'll be like, "Hey, what do you think of this? This isn't very good, is it?" And she'll be and like, "And a lot no, of the times, not. I'll catch it before he films it. Like if he's practicing a spoken word, like there are certain times where I'm like, that I don't like that phrase or it's not that I don't like it. It's most of the time like I think people will take that the wrong way right. or I think you're trying to mean this, but it's coming off to me as this. Or that doesn't make a whole lot of sense or whatever. So, so she is one filter. I also have, you know, several friends sort of around the country and around the world who 
I know consistently keep up with my channel and my content and every now and then I'll get a text from them being like, hey, just wanna let you know that last spoken word or that last vid video you did, it was spot on, really nice job. So I know that they are watching and most of them have far more biblical knowledge and f are far further along in their spiritual journeys than I am. So I know that they're watching and keeping me accountable, but really the most consistent mentor I have keeping me accountable is you all, is the viewers. I really do go in the comments section of every video and I read your thoughts and your critiques and all of those things. Um, and most of the time, whenever I create a video, I also go to other people's accounts who have created similar videos and I look at what people have said about their videos. And so I, I have a bunch of different filters in which I put things through in the hopes of at the end of the day, whatever I put out, is not only glorifying to God, but it's grounded in truth um, and it aligns with scripture. Um, but no, I don't have necessarily a, a strict process, mostly because I don't want to put that burden on someone else. Let's study the word of God. Let's study the word of God. Whenever Sweet Bear and I do a Bible study together, that's the song we sing. Study, 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 study the word of God. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I couldn't even think. Oh, and now to wrap up the show. The grand finale. The grand finale of our show today. What's <laughs> the hair? This takes a while. Stop it. How would you feel if I did that to you? Go for it. So the, the finale of our show today is uh, we need to figure out what the name of this show is going to be. Don't look. Oh. You said you wanted oh. to be surprised. <laughs> I asked her beforehand, I was like, hey, do you want me to I tell you what the suggestions them. are? And then she was like, no, no, I want to be surprised. I and then didn't she's trying to sneak them. a look. Anyway, so um, you all in the comment section of one of our previous videos, a, a lot of you took it upon yourselves to give a suggestion for what this show should be called. And we have a few suggestions of our own. So right now, we're going to decide between the two of us what it's going to be. Today. Today, right now, ta, in real ta, time. Ta. Today, Junya. Here we go. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Yes. First one, this is one I came up with. Jorgen Week. Okay. Next, Jorgen Fam Week in Review. Okay. Next, Jorgen Fam Friday. Okay. Next, Jorgen Fam Flashback. Okay. Finally, hashtag getting Jorgy with it. <laughs> that was our wedding hashtag. That was our wedding can hashtag. Can I add one? You can add one, yes. What about Jorgen Fam Weekly? Jorgen Fam Weekly. Maybe we don't decide right now. Maybe. We put it to in a the, vote. We put it to a vote. In the description, down below, we need you to comment down below. Yeah. What is your vote for what this show should be called? Yeah, and we'll pray about it and Right, we'll we'll put it we'll we'll test it in God's word, see what he says. <laughs> um, we'll like uh, hopefully have some prophecy dreams. <laughs> some prophetic <laughs> dreams. There we go. Yeah, I hope so. So make sure you comment down below. Hola. Let us know A, what should the show be called out of those. Don't be throwing any like random suggestions. Unless you have a really me. good suggestion. Unless it's really good. <laughs> And B, uh, what else do you want to see on this show? A lot of you gave some suggestions and I wrote them all down and we're going to definitely tackle them in future weeks. But for now, what else would you like to see on this show? Yeah, because we have to do one every week. So, so and we're not very interesting. Especially games and challenges and stuff. We are not interesting people. So, All right, y'all. That's all we have for you. Once again, thank you for watching. I am John. I am Sweet Bear. Keep being awesome. <gasps> <laughs> You guys should check out my muscles. <laughs> <laughs> I was checking them out at the gym today. Oh, yeah.